Hi everyone, in this video I will take a look at what AWS Lambda is and why it is so special right now. In Amazon's words, Lambda lets you run code without provisioning or managing servers. It's an event-driven computing platform and that means that Lambda runs your code when it is triggered. Your piece of code is called a Lambda function and it should only be responsible for a single task. For example, resizing images when you upload them to Amazon S3. You might think that that is not very interesting. After all, you could spin up a virtual machine on EC2 and let it do the same task. Well, Lambda really shines on two fronts, scalability and price. So let's start with pricing. Amazon charges you only when your code is being executed and it bills you per 100 milliseconds of use. That means you don't need to pay if your code doesn't run. That is a massive saving compared to regular virtual machines where you have to pay per hour that you use it regardless of how much stuff you run on it. Amazon is also offering a free tier for Lambda. Every month you'll get 1 million requests and 3 million seconds of compute time for free. Second advantage is scalability. With Lambda, you literally upload your code and let Amazon handle all of the scaling for you. Amazon spins up a container every time your code is being triggered. If that container gets swamped by requests, it simply creates a second container and balances the load across them. And when you don't receive requests anymore, the containers are simply destroyed. Now Amazon can achieve the scalability because Lambda functions are stateless. That means that you cannot store data in your Lambda functions for long periods of time. For that, you have to use another service like DynamoDB. So those benefits make Lambda highly attractive for people building applications. Ever since Amazon allows you to connect API Gateway to Lambda functions, companies have been building complete backends for their apps and websites with this. Some people call this a serverless computing platform, but servers are still involved. It just refers to the fact that you don't have to handle provisioning, securing and managing of servers. In this series, we'll look at how you can use Lambda to build a web API. To do that, we're going to use the serverless framework. In the next video, I'm going to explain the main concepts of the serverless framework that you should understand when you want to build a scalable and price efficient API with AWS Lambda.